what's up guys? Um Cowl Vault here. And today's kind of a mix match of a bunch of stuff, more of a update. I haven't really given you guys any videos this week and I apologize for that. Um I've been working on a bunch of projects and uh yeah, but dudes, check this out. Check this out. Okay, remember the lighting down here? Oh! Oh, look who finally got the lighting fixed. Now we can actually see the cowls. Um, all right, so like I said, today is going to be kind of an update, um, a project that I'm working on, and also a Batman 1989 life-size Michael Keaton display update. My one-to-one -one scale Michael Keaton Batman. Okay, let's just let's just go. Alright guys, so like I said, today is going to be kind of a um, a showcase of two projects that I got in the works. But ultimately this is a video update on the state of my life-size Batman that I'm working on from the Tim Burton film Batman 89. Um, those of you who follow the channel know that Michael Keaton has always been my favorite Batman. And out of the two movies that he was in, I really loved his look in the original Batman 1989 over the returns. That's actually my favorite bat suit of all time. Um, so I want to emulate it by having a life-size display. And I've acquired a few pieces and I have a few pieces that I've ordered and a few pieces in the works and one massive piece that I still need to purchase but I got my tax return. I'm just waiting for it to go back into my account. It was a, it was a rather large sum of money so I'm like, okay, this year, I'm going to finish my Keaton. That's what I want to do. So, like I said, I've acquired a few pieces. I have some pieces already. And the big pieces that I need is the armor. And I've tracked down a set that is a really good price by a very reliable seller, um, Applied Sciences Division. So, this is their set of armor right here. That's going to be the big, big, big purchase. Um, but it looks so screen accurate. It's a really good deal. Most of the time I see Batman 89 armor go for, go for about a thousand bucks. This here is about $830 shipped. That's a pretty good deal. And I already have a morph suit downstairs that's going to be glued down to. It's not a dive suit, but it's the almost attempt. I don't want to go spend like $50 on a, on a nice neoprint dive suit. I'm not going for the super screen accurate look. I'm going for the almost very display friendly look. So that is the first thing that I still need to get is the armor. But as soon as my tax return comes in, boom, I'm gonna purchase it. And that's the main piece. Um, I already own the belt. It looks like this. I already have the belt. It's from Fanatic Effects. Um, speaking of Fanatic Effects, he just sent me photos of his full urethane 89 gauntlets. Now, the gauntlets slash gloves in the film were made of leather, but because I'm making a display piece, I'm okay with these items being made of urethane because they're gonna look really good on display and they're gonna give that illusion that it's a full figure instead of just a costume on a mannequin. So they're made of 20 shore urethane, they've got the 89 details. He is going to supply me with the gauntlet armor and the fins. Um, I already own fins, but he said with these specific gauntlets, um, the fins need to be pre-installed. So he's going to install those for me. He's going to cut me a pretty good deal. So those are going to be on the way real quick here. Um, he said he's going to send me those exact ones in the photo. Those were the test cast. And I cannot wait for those to arrive. But like I said, they're made of 20 short urethane rubber. So they're going to hold their shape really well. They won't need to be stuffed. So I'm just going to saw off the hands of my mannequin and just put those on. And they're going to look like real Keaton hands with the gloves on them. So, we've covered the armor, we've covered the belt, we've covered the gauntlets. I already have my one-to-one -one scale Michael Keaton bust. Um, it looks like this. I'm just planning on repainting it. I'm gonna dull down the black on the cowl to match the rest of the outfit. Um, when I clear coated everything, I used a matte sealer, but for some reason, it made the cowl part shiny. So I don't understand what happened. It was labeled as a matte sealer, so maybe they put the wrong label on the wrong bottle and I sprayed it with, um, you know, reflective sealer. That's not what I wanted. So the cowl is gonna be dulled down to match the outfit. 
So, that's, okay, boots. I found the Nike Air Trainers and I purchased them. So I'm gonna have to do dyeing them black. This is a picture of the ones that I actually acquired. Um, they're on the way from eBay. Um, they were about $100, I didn't wanna pay that, but I mean, I wanted it to be relatively accurate. And I could have gone with the UD Replica boots, but converted to Canadian, it would have been about like $400 shipped. And they're not even the real Nike trainers, they're imitation Nike trainers. So I was like, okay, I might as well just buy the actual ones and make them as accurate as possible. Because I already own the boot armor, it looks like this. So all I need to do to these shoes is put the marine vinyl on the back to create the rest of the boot. And I'm not planning on adding laces or anything because this costume is not going to be wearable. So I'm just gonna extend the front part of the boot instead of cutting it. So if this is your leg, you would normally cut the marine vinyl here and then this part would be around the back of your leg. But I'm going to leave it a little bit longer so that the, the, the armor can just Velcro directly to it right onto the mannequin and then no big deal. It'll just be like that forever. So I just need to acquire some marine vinyl, but the shoes are on the way. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I already own the cape. The cape is downstairs. Um, I might add a, a light coat of leak seal over top of the cape just to give it that kind of rubbery bat skin texture depending on how the suit looks um, with the armor. And I don't think I missed anything. Head, body armor, belt, gauntlets, cape, boots. Pretty sure that's everything. So the big purchase is the armor and that's gonna be purchased as soon as my tax return goes into my account. I'm purchasing that armor. I'm not waiting any longer. Um, with everyone being on quarantine, I don't really need anything right now. My bills are always very, very low. I don't take on things that I can't afford. So this year with my tax return, I would love to finish my Keaton. And that is what the big thing I'm gonna do this year is, is to finish my life-size Michael Keaton. Now, that's Keaton out of the way. Um, now the projects that I'm working on, I'm working on two projects. Uh, one is a rather big project, which is gonna be a series of busts that I'm working on. And I have one in the early stages right now that I'm gonna show you guys. And another piece is a custom piece that I am making for a friend. He is working on a um, custom costume inspired by a character that he really, really likes. Well, not inspired by, he's making his own version of a character that he really, really likes, um, the Phantom. So here's a picture of the Phantom right here, but he's going for his own custom design um, with you know switch out pieces and stuff and he's got his whole suit designed and I'm working hand in hand with him to create a helmet style cowl for his Phantom cosplay. And I have acquired a helmet that I'm gonna use as a base, but it's gonna be completely altered. So I'm gonna show you guys what the helmet is, but I'm not gonna reveal anything else because I still need to talk with my friend, find out what he wants to do with this thing, but I do have the helmet here and I'm gonna show it to you right now. All right, so here is the helmet. So this is a Captain Marvel style helmet from eBay. Um, this one is one of the uh, uh, kind of mass produced China versions. You can see it says Coser Mart there. But as you can see, I've cut off the chin. Um, I've also cut, cut off the mohawk. All of this is gonna be smoothed out and created into a helmet and then we're gonna alter a lot of this. Um, I don't exactly know what he wants to do yet, but this is the base. Um, I'm working hand in hand with him for his Phantom cosplay. And now, the really big thing that I'm working on is a series of three-quarter scale busts from the Tim Burton Batman movies. So the first one that is in the works right now, and it's not close to completion, but I've got most of the shapes worked out, is Batman himself. So, back the camera up. So as you can see, very early stages, doesn't even look like Keaton yet. I'm getting closer, but this is still very, very early stages. It's not meant to look perfect right now. As you can see, I don't even have the back done, but this is uh, my Michael Keaton sculpt. It is not done, okay? So look at this and take it as a grain of salt. You're gonna say, oh man, that doesn't look very good. I know, this is so hard to get a likeness. I am still, not very good at sculpting, but I really want to push myself to do a series of busts. 
the first one here is Michael Keaton as Batman, and I'm planning on doing Jack Nicholson as the Joker, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, and Danny DeVito as the Penguin to complete this four series of busts. So this one here is being sculpted in plasticine um, because I don't have access to um, non-drying clay. I only have access to wet clay here and I can't get a sculpture done before it cracks and hardens and breaks. So my only option is plasticine, which makes it very difficult to get uh, things really, really smooth because plasticine is very much like sticky tack. It just wants to stick to everything and it leaves fingerprints and stuff. So I'm not very focused right now on trying to get everything smooth and perfect. I want all the shapes there before I start smoothing because once you smooth, you don't want to touch it again because you're going to leave a fingerprint. So, yes, there's Keaton. Um, I was going for an 89 sculpt, but it's starting to look a little bit too much like returns. So depending on what the state is when I get the ears on and the shape of the cowl and everything, it might be a returns, it might be an 89, I don't know yet. Um, but there it is. Um, and I'll just do a really good close up on the likeness. I'm getting closer, but it's not 100% it's not there yet. It really isn't, and I, I am very aware of that. I am not a professional sculptor, and this is, um, I'm pretty impressed with this, how it's going, but it is not done. It is very early stages. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I apologize that I haven't really uploaded. Um, I've just been busy, obviously, and, uh, and I've been really psyched about finishing this Michael Keaton Batman. So I've been on eBay and I've been on Etsy and I've been sourcing all these pieces because I really want to finish him this year. That is the big thing. Michael Keaton Batman will be finished this year. That is like my resolution. I have to finish him this year. I've wanted him forever and only in like the last two years have I started acquiring pieces. And this year I want to finish him. And I want to do it right, okay? They're not going to be 100% accurate pieces, but I want to do it right. I want him to look like a museum quality piece. So all the accurate pieces that I can get, like the body armor, the shoes, the belt, the bust, everything that can be accurate will be, and everything that will look the part, like the gauntlets and the cape um, will, just be stand-in pieces until one day I acquire like a very high quality latex cape or something like that. But that's gonna do it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out, be good people.